Hey, Jackie, the governor outlined a layered plan to reopen the Texas economy. KMR Local Force Maggie Glenn is at the state capitol with restrictions that come with three new executive orders and what needs to happen for more businesses to open those doors. She joins us now live. Maggie? Hey there, Andy. Governor Abbott's first executive order today establishes a new strike force. The team is comprised of state leaders, doctors, and business experts who will gather information and make recommendations about the best way to safely start to reopen businesses across the state of Texas. We're now beginning to see glimmers that the worst of COVID-19 may soon be behind us. That's why Governor Greg Abbott says he's ready to start reopening businesses around the state in phases. One of his executive orders approves a retail to go model where businesses can bring their employees back to work, but customers don't set foot in the door. You simply order the product and you pick it up or have it delivered to you. Because we've seen that this model works while also containing COVID-19, we believe that all stores in Texas should be able to operate retail to go. The governor also closed schools for the rest of the school year, but the Texas Education Agency says at-home learning will continue. Another order loosens his previous mandate that postponed all non-emergency surgeries. Texas has plenty of hospital capacity. We have a solid supply chain of PPE, and many of our doctors and nurses have patients who desperately need medical treatment. On a conference call following the governor's announcement, the Texas Democratic Party expressed concern for a lack of testing. It is premature to open until we have clear testing. Governor Abbott said more testing is available daily and will impact more decisions to come at the end of the month. Additional openings will be announced on April the 27th after further input from the advisors and the medical staff. The governor said if a resurgence appears after businesses across the state start to reopen, he would consider closing individual communities down rather than closing things down on a statewide level. Live at the Texas State Capitol, Maggie Glenn, KAMR Local 4 News. Maggie, it's always good to catch up with you. Thank you. Under the governor's third executive order today, all state parks will be able to reopen beginning Monday, given people wear face masks and follow proper social distancing measures.